Orlando ranks in the top 10 U.S. cities with the highest rates of HIV and AIDS. However, in the 80s, HIV was thought to only affect a small portion of the population. I have seen a definite change in the makeup mm -hmm. because back then it was mostly the kids from the clubs. At first it was diagnosed as a gay man's disease, but no, not today. It is the older generation, it's the white woman, it's the older white gentleman, it's the older black gentleman, it's the older Hispanic gentleman, the Jamaican man, the Asian man, everybody's involved. So the makeup has become more universal. The HIV does not discriminate. All these years later, infection rates are still on the rise. But if HIV is preventable, why are so many people still getting infected? Because there's still so much fear and stigma associated with this illness. So there are people who won't be tested, don't go and get tested. They're afraid to know. And people are not being honest with their partners about what they may be doing or what they've done in their past. So when you have that kind of fear and hiding, it creates this microcosm that causes these types of things to continue. If people would just be educated and tell the truth and live their truth, I think we could stop infections. With more research and new discoveries happening every year, the changes we are seeing are more than skin deep. I can only compare to when I was diagnosed, mm -hmm. and I would say definitely there has been progress. The medications have improved, people are living a better quality of life. Because when I first started taking medication, I think it was Crixaban or something like that. Horrible, chalky medic medications that, and big, giant pills. and Yeah, it was difficult. So I can only imagine back in the 80s how much more difficult it was. Of course, we had a lot more people dying back in those days. I went to my fair share of funerals, but today, in 2014, I can say it's, it's definitely better. Finding out that you have HIV can be a big change, but just how does your life change? It changed it for the better, much better, because it made me more health conscious. For example, a person who is HIV negative does not get, and this might sound a little crazy, does not get the opportunities that a person that age, who is HIV positive has. I'm able to go to the doctor more often than the person who is not HIV positive. So because I'm HIV positive, I have to monitor my blood. I have to do labs every three months or every six months. I see the doctor on a constant basis. So a person who is negative may not find out about some condition that they have until it's far too late. I live the example that HIV does not kill you, that I live with HIV, I'm not dying from HIV. There is no cure for HIV, and with the lack of education, infection rates will continue to rise. With everybody having smartphones nowadays and tablets, it's so much easier to get information. You can go online and you can actually search for HIV, AIDS. You can go to your library. You can go to the health department. You can go to agencies that service the community. Or you can actually ask people who are advocates or who don't mind telling their status. The information is out there. You just have to look for it. Know your status. Get tested. Volunteer. Do something so we can stop the spread of this disease. Contact the agency listed above or call the statewide number.